Well, I figured I'd get back on here. You wouldn't think I was dead or something. I'll tell you what. This bullshit about these school shootings. Enough's enough, people. You know, this is not the first time these cowards, cowards, these, we're here to protect you. I get, I'd get lippy with them at a traffic stop or some bullshit thing like that and fuck all oh, man, they'll throw the book at you. Yep, you're some uh, little, uh, you know, mother with three kids in the back seat. Oh, better watch out, man. You know, you're a father, got a couple little kids and a wife in the car. Man, you better watch out. Let some fucking asshole, psychopath, son of a bitch, go in and shoot a place up. Especially children. Thank God. We fucking hide. We run away. We don't go in. I do not know any parent, grandparent, brother, sister, anybody that would stand outside listening to fucking gunshots going off and not charge in a building unarmed. Yeah, they may be a casualty, but guess what? They're no coward. They'd rather die trying. Die trying. That's right. When seconds counts, they're minutes away. You know, we got a lot of ex-military, ex-officers. I mean, we're retired guys. Guys that know how to handle themselves. Be more than willing to do this job. More than willing to go into a school and protect it. That's a deterrent. See, this is what our problem is in this country. We live in a constitutional republic. Not some fucking democracy. Not mob rule. A constitutional republic where you, you, that's right, have individual... God-given rights, and one of them is to protect yourself. Who the fuck are these people to tell you you cannot protect yourself? Fuck them. I think every parent, grandparent, mother, I, I don't care. Any of these son of a bitches should be out there suing the shit out of their governor, lieutenant governor, council, school board, and go right up into Congress. If you live in one of them districts where they say, oh, you can't have a gun, you can't carry, you can't do this, sue the bastards for, that's right, letting these children die. It's their fault. And I'll go a step further. It's a lot of these people's fault, too. Who the hell are they to tell you what you can and cannot do, that you cannot, cannot do the basics and protect your life? your family's life, your friends, just people around you even. That's right, what about that woman? That's right, that black guy. Hey, slow down, man. Going too fast. We're having a, a, a graduation party here. Gets mad, comes back. Thinks he's all tough and cool. Till that lady shot him fucking dead. That's exactly right. She's no coward. She's not a coward, I'll tell you that. The other thing that pisses me off, too, is these, these teachers. They're heroes. Not just to here in this school, but many schools around the country. They're heroes. They've lost their lives trying to protect these children. Using their bodies as shields. You don't get any more brave than that. And I'll tell you what. Where's the fanfare? Where's the flags? Where's all the squad cars coming from counties and counties around honoring these heroes? One of their pieces of usually filth too, not a good guy. Some piece of crap that was, uh, you know, going out there grabbing uh, money for the, uh, shaking the uh, local uh, drug dealer down for the cut of the precinct so we don't bust you. And same with the prostitution, a bunch of this other stuff. 
Yeah, that guy gets gunned down. Boy, we have the he's the greatest guy in the world, and we have a huge, huge, huge fanfare for him. Like I said before, they're flying their own flag. They're not flying the colors, man. Black, white, and blue. They're flying their own. I'm telling you, man. These people don't. They don't work for you. Working for somebody else. I'm telling you. Sue the dog shit out of these people. Anybody that has ever signed a bill that says, hey, you can't carry, you can't do this, you can't do that. Sue the dog shit out of them. Another thing is, tell them to pack their shit and get out of your country. You ain't American. Rugged individualism. Community. And above all, God. That's right. Above all, God. Government training centers. That's just part of it. Then you got Hollywood and these fucking pieces of shit there. Guess what? We're going to turn out all this crap. Cartoons. Video games. All this music. To, to turn your kids into sociopaths. Fucking little psychos. Then you're going to put them on some stupid little drug that makes it even worse. Just to get control away from you. Oh, you try to stop it? Man, social services, knock, knock, knock on the door. Gonna take your most precious thing from you in your entire life. Your children. Cold day in hell when that happens. I'm telling you, people. These are our children. I hope it quits, but it won't. Be prepared for it to get worse. And these son of a bitch is going to say, Oh, we got to do something about these guns. It ain't the guns' fault. It's the psychopaths. The most armed country, citizenry-wise, in the world. And we can't protect our own children? What the fuck is wrong with these people? You know what's wrong with it. It stinks to high heaven. They're getting paid off. And I hope the good cops and the good people that are listening and watching and have ears to hear and eyes to see understand they need to stand with God, on God's side, with the good people. The wicked, they'll eat their own. That's why they can't survive. When they get done eating their own, they eat themselves. They self-destruct. God's people don't self-destruct. Cigars going out. Damn. Anyway, you get the drift, man. You are in charge. They're trying to tell you you're not, but you are. They just put a bunch of fucking words on a piece of paper and use some semantics and tell you what is is and what this and that means and all this bullshit and then threaten you. Tell you what, when you get a community... Standing up going, nah, I don't think so. I think you better pack your bags and get the fuck out of here. Nah, I think they better pack their bags and get the fuck out of here.